The difference with cat extractions or feline extractions is that the roots tend to be very fragile and break very quickly and very easily. So removing a little more bone around the root tends to make it a little bit easier. In dogs, we, we re recommend removing bone as well in order to get the root out, but you don't have to remove as much actually as you do in cats. And if you're struggling as a veterinarian, if you're struggling with an extraction, typically the answer is remove more bone before you then try to go faster or harder. It's almost always remove more bone. My resident actually that, that works in my practice, um, the first year that, that she was there, she kept, she kept struggling and breaking roots and, and I would walk up and say, do you need help? She said, no, nope, I'm removing more bone. I know, I know, I'm doing it. It's okay, I got it. <laughs> and so it's really important to, to recognize, yes, you don't wanna remove any more bone than necessary, bone belongs there, you want it to stay, but you need to remove as much bone as it takes to get the job done. And it's actually safer for the jawbone if you remove more of it to get the tooth out less traumatically than if you try to preserve every inch of bone, then you're more likely to break the jaw. And then you still, now you have lots of bone you can fix it with, but it's better to try to not to break it in the first place.